Hello, today I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite applications for the Mac operating system. Some of these are also for the win for a Windows computer, but uh, not most of them. I'm going to start off with web browsing, because I think that is most important. Um, I already made a video about this. I'll put this as either an annotation or in a link in the sidebar, so go check that out. Um, but my favorite ones are Firefox and Opera. So I'll just start with Firefox. It's pretty simple. It gets you to a website. You can have add-ons like Download Helper or Stumble Upon, which I like both of them very much. Um, it gets you to a website, which is really what I need. Which is what I need, I guess. Um, with Opera, it's... Uh, it's pretty much the same. I find it to be a little bit faster, but there's no add-ons. There's like something called widgets or gadgets, which is it tries to be an add-on, but it really isn't. If you like to customize your web browsing, definitely go with Firefox. But if you need to just visit a couple websites here and there, Opera is definitely the best for you. Um, another application that I really like is Handbrake. Handbrake lets you rip DVDs from DVDs onto your computer. So, like, if I have a DVD, um, I, whatever DVD, I'll put it into my DVD drive, open up Handbrake, and it'll let me rip it onto my hard drive so I can have, like, an MP4 or a bunch of other files like that. It's great if you, um... Make sure that you use it legally, but it's great for if you just have like a DVD that you own and you want to put it on your iPod or something like that. Another application that I like a lot that I also use a lot is SMC Fan Control. I'll put all of the links for downloads up on the sidebar. What this does is pretty self-explanatory. You can change the... Um, you can change the speed that the fan is spinning at on your MacBook or whatever you have. So right now, it's at the normalish setting, I call it. But I can move it up to higher RPM, and it'll make the fan spin faster, which is great if you're working on your lap and, you really, and it's really hot, which MacBooks sometimes get. So whenever it's not being charged on my desk, I tend to use that and pump it up so my lap doesn't get too hot. Another free application that I really like and use a lot is iStat menus. Um, they also have an iStat widget, which is great too, but I, I don't use Dashboard that much. So, as you may have noticed up here, um, this is iStat except for this. This is a monitor thing. So this this, 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 and this is all part of iStat. And what it does is it monitors certain things. So um, this one monitors my hard drive, my primary hard drive. So it tells me how much free and how much I've used. Um, this tells me the RAM usage. This tells me the processor, how much it's being used or whatever. Uh, this is the temperature, as you can see, like I said before, MacBooks tend to get pretty warm, so I could just use SMC Fan Control and turn that down a little bit. Uh, this is up and down, like, airport, so if I'm accessing the internet, if I'm uploading or downloading something, and then this is just how fast my fans are speed, how fast my fans are spinning. Um, this is a system preferences pane. So you'll download it, and it'll add a pane, uh, yeah, to your system preferences thing. So you'll click on it here, and it'll give you a bunch of options. So most of these I use. I don't have Bluetooth because I don't use that much, or date and time because it sort of says it right here. Um, it's great if you like to monitor uh, your system stuff, if you're like a geek sort of like me, and you like to see what's going on under the hood, sort of. Thank you for watching, and please visit my website at howto4computers.com. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and while you're there, check out a couple of my other videos. Thank you.